What is happening, people? It is Brian Alsry with NeverState.com, and welcome to the very first training video at the home gym. So, uh, the regular Never State Athletics is doing really well. It's going to be opening in a couple weeks. We're trying to decide on an exact date. Um, we're kind of changing some of the structure of it. So, we have to figure that out before we can open it up. So, we're figuring those last bits out, and then we're going to be going on that. So, we're really, really excited about that. But in the meantime, we are training here at the house. And uh, it's been going really well. Today you guys are gonna be joining me for my squat workout. And the reason why is because uh, I suck at the squat. Typically prior to taking this long break off, the squat was absolutely my best exercise by far. It was, it was arguably better than my deadlift. Um, I'm more built for squat. It just, it works, works out really, really well for me. However, since the break, I literally, it's like I've never squatted in my life. My breathing and bracing's all messed up. My my knee is absolutely killing me. I'm, my body's hurting. Like I can't figure it out for whatever reason. The deadlift makes sense. I did that the other day, and I actually ended up with 500 for six uh, there. So that actually is not bad at all for a top set for me. However, in between that, I was doing dragon flags, and those dragon flags made me so stupid sore that my next training session was supposed to be the overhead press but I honestly did not believe that my core had the ability to stabilize in the way that I wanted to for an overhead type of situation. So I ended up laying down on a bench and going for the bench press, and there I was fortunate enough to come up with about 300 for six. It actually was 300 by six. Now, both the 300 by six, 300 by six is about 200 pounds under my actual PR, and 500 by six is a little bit more than 200 pounds under my PR. So uh, it's kind of been consistent. I do not expect the same thing to happen with the squat. I expect that to be much, much lower. So we're going to see what's happening. It's my wife and I, as well as the dogs in here today. So we're just going to be going through. I'm going to be trying to interrupt the workout and just talk to you guys about how I'm feeling challenging on these squat stuff. Cause I'm sure there's a lot of you who can relate on some level. Maybe it's not squat. Maybe it's your bench. Maybe it's something else where you're like, I don't know how I forgot. How did my body forget how to do this? I've done it a million times. So that's what I'm dealing with. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about it as I go through. Um, and some other stuff going on health-wise that I'll be talking to you guys as the video goes on. So let's go. Poor Kona. Poor Kona. Welcome to the commentary, everybody, where we will actually be spending a lot of time tearing apart my horrible squat so much that I put it in slow motion so we can all look and ponder at its terribleness. Uh, as you guys can see, I have zero upper back tightness here. It is just absolutely brutal to watch. Uh, I was not getting locked into the bar. There was nothing really that I was doing right this day. And you guys are gonna continue to see as I show you different angles that it just was bad. So uh, the giant set was a kettlebell swing to the squat to plate halos. But as you guys can see here, again, when I'm talking about the upper back tightness, it is not there. You see my chin, I keep firing it up out of the hole. That's throwing my lower back out. I am not hitting depth. There's a lot to be corrected here. Yeah, so the first two sets went really well, 135 and 225, but that's not really a shock. Now, I will be completely honest with you guys, 225 feels like 150 pounds heavier than it should, so, um, that's always shocking because it really makes me feel terrible. I, I should be squatting 500 pounds today. Hopefully, I'm, there's absolutely no way. I'm going to be lucky to get to 400 pounds. I'm dead serious about that, which actually I should probably mention. As you guys can see, I'm not wearing a belt. I'm not wearing knee sleeves. I'm not wearing wraps. I'm not wearing straps. I'm not doing anything that, like that for my first couple weeks of lifting. A um, couple reasons why. Number one, I just want to be sure that it is me lifting the weights and I want to make sure that things like my breathing and my bracing are spot on because it's so easy to get hurt at this stage of lifting. So I'm trying to be super, super careful about that. Also, if I'm being completely honest, uh, my ego gets in the way of my lifting a lot and I have trouble holding back. Uh, I have trouble lifting if I'm not going for something big. If there's not a big number in my head that I need to hit that day, it's really, really tough for me to just go in and run the routine because I've just been doing it for so long. It's not that interesting. It's not that much fun anymore. So I like to have those big things. So times like this, I need to pull back on the reins just to make sure that I keep myself safe. Uh, also, for those of you who do not know, uh, I'm recovering from a couple different diseases, uh, one of which is Lyme disease. I already have it. Um, 
and it's a different, there's a couple different forms of Lyme disease and it's, it's not just your standard run of the, little, run of the mill Lyme disease. Uh, however, the other day, just two days ago, yeah, two days ago, I did find another deer tick on me. So a uh, little bit of a red spot. So I immediately got on doxycyclone. Uh, as you guys know, if you have anything to do with Lyme disease, uh, you immediately get on that. So I am on that, but that also can affect your tendons and some ligament stuff. So I need to be very, very careful. I am supposed to be doing burpee broad jumps in this workout. If you guys are following the Deja Vu program, you guys know I'm supposed to be jumping around right now, but that's probably not super safe on my Achilles tendon stuff. So just trying to stay a little bit more static. That's why you're seeing the swings and the halos and things like that. So don't worry. Hopefully I'll be jumping around very, very soon. So let's go. All right, so on this one, I didn't cut the clip so close so you guys can see how much I'm rushing my walkout. Uh, I'm not letting the plate settle. I'm not getting set before I go. It's just a lack of doing reps. You can also see my hips here are not completely underneath the bar. Uh, that is something that I really, I hound upon. I, I hate when my hips are back the way they are right there. I'm rushing these reps. It is not good. I'm pretty close to depth. I, I'd probably pretty call it pretty good, but my elbows are pointed more back than I would like. I'm not having that upper back tightness by pulling the bar through the front of my chest. If you guys need help with that, check out my squat tutorials. It'll explain all this, but there is a lot going wrong here that's making that bar feel a lot heavier than it ever should. So um, if you guys are finding that things are not going well and things are feeling heavier than they actually are, it, a lot of times it is because you're not actually biomechanically lining things up the way that you're supposed to. Uh, now here's 365 which is an even worse set because I got a little amped up for this because I'm not kidding. I did not know that I was going to get to 400 pounds today. So I'm rushing the set. I'm cutting the reps short. They're high. I'm not locking my hips out. That one I kind of do. Uh, my back's not tight. My chin's flipping up. It is horrendous. There is so much that is going wrong here. Uh, it's like I've never squatted a day in my life. All right, so I'm sure I just critiqued myself to death because uh, that was a really bad set. That's actually the first time I've had 365 on my back since uh, since this big break. So uh, I think I'm a little gun shy. I'm definitely pulling them a little bit high. I can feel it. I'm definitely coming out with my chin, which is just stupid. So um, I think the plan is I'm going to jump to 405 and I'm going to see if I can keep depth, if I can keep good form, if I can stay tight. Um, there's so many things I'm doing wrong on it, it's not even funny. So I think it would be unsafe to continue to push weight. I think 405 is probably going to be a challenge enough as it is. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, so here's my top set of the day at 405 and I played it in normal speed so you guys could see the explosiveness and what's going on because there's not much of it there. Um, I actually did hit depth on all these. This ended up being my best set of the day. My chin is still flipping up every time. I was even telling myself not to do it. And other than the last rep, I think I did it every single time. My elbows are pointed back. You can see my brace collapse right there. I'm getting the air up into my chest, not into my belly. Uh, I'm not initiating by pushing my knees out there. There's a lot um, of room to improve, which is really, really good because if I couldn't find stuff to improve, then I couldn't get any better. And judging by this, uh, I'm going to get a lot better. Great success. Yeah, so four or five went down, felt pretty good. Time to move on to assistance because I realized that recording while working out takes me so much longer. So uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy to do it. I thank you guys so much for being here with me. I'm so thankful they actually got that 405. I was literally pretty worried that that one's gonna go down. In reality, probably have a little bit more. Definitely rushing it, still rushing it. Made that one a little bit more individual every single rep, still not much, but a little better and that went a little better for me. We hit depth every time and uh, yeah, I don't know. It still sucks, but it's better than it was. So that's good. On to assistance. So Elena and I spent the next 10 minutes uh, doing Bulgarian split squats at the top very minute for 10 minutes. We were doing four each leg. So every time that the second ham ran back around the 12, you had four with your left, four with your right, and then you got the remainder of the minute to rest. So um, it was this is a go-to for me. I absolutely love either front foot elevated split squats or Bulgarian split squats, which is like a rear foot elevated split squat. I absolutely love them as some assistance work, and nothing makes my butt more sore than that. 
for conditioning, I was doing a Tabata where uh, that 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest for eight rounds or four total minutes. And I would do one pull up, one leg raise, one pull up, one leg raise, one pull up, one leg raise. And just did that back and forth for uh, like the 20 seconds. Then I would rest for 10 seconds, jump back up. It actually smoked my grip. It smoked my pull-ups and it smoked my abs. So uh, really, really good way to finish off the workout in a quick four minutes. I'd never done that before. Just kind of threw it together on the spot and I would highly recommend it to you. Hopefully this is impressive. And with that, the very hot and sweaty and first inaugural workout video, workout video, I guess, at the home gym has been complete. So Elena, why don't you come over? Uh, you guys probably saw Elena in a bunch of the clips. Now, my squat actually felt like it was coming along a little bit today, felt a little bit better than it has been feeling. Right. So today I actually feel a little bit encouraged about it. Yeah. Uh, even though 405 isn't spectacular for me, but it's good for today, Absolutely. I guess. Now your squat has been going awesome, right? Yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, today I was able to do 185 for six and I only expected to do 165, but I've been like working back pretty slow and just yeah. been patient with it and focus on, I don't know, everything. My brace though, I still feel like has not been great. It's like I'm stupid. It's like I've never done it in my life. Now, your deadlift though, you're struggling with, right? Yeah, I am struggling with that. I don't know why it feels so hard, but I'm, again, being patient with it and just trying to work the program. So, just so guys, different things are going to be messed up for different people, right? Like her deadlift is messed up right now. My squat's messed up. Your bench can be messed up, but just don't like, don't let it get you down, man. It's, it's just remember all this is a marathon and none of us are coming back in like two weeks. None of us are no. going to be breaking world records next month, right? So just calm down. It's going to be all right. Try to keep your ego out of it. And like I said earlier, guys, I'm talking to myself just as much as you guys so that I don't hurt myself and do something stupid early. Um, but we really appreciate you guys uh, coming along on the Deja Vu program with us. Elena is probably going to upload this workout video, maybe some others as she goes along. It might become a thing. We're not sure yet. <laughs> but if you do want to check out her workout and her perspective of this as, long as, as well as like what all she went Absolutely. through, this is a little bit different than mine. If you guys have girlfriends or wives that might uh, get annoyed with you watching me uh, and they want to watch someone else kind of go through something similar, uh, the girl yeah. version would be on her channel. So. Come on over. Yeah. So all links to all that will be in the description. You can jump right over. But we thank you guys so much for being along with us. Um, I feel good about the first workout video, I guess. Put that one in the books and uh, <laughs> and we're out. Guys, until we see you, thank you so much for watching. We will catch you later in the week. Until we do go out something, realize, keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other. We'll see you then. See you then. Yeah. <laughs>